Now mute button's permanently on, right? Oh no, the light's on, so the mic is live, right? Okay, good. I just realized that I have some audio coming from this, so I'm going to turn it off. There it is. <laughs> Alright, Luma, give us uh, some words. See if you can be detected. Uh, hello, hello. Testing, testing. Okay, this is Lumo, and I'm Fozon, and this is Descent 1. First of all, I had to load the save file uh, that I've set up previously for a reason we'll talk about when we get to the first boss. So, here we go. I'll start counting down in a second. Okay, three, two, one, go. So, as you can see, this is a six degree, degree of freedom game, and it's pretty old, but this is an, actually an updated source port, and it's kind of like Doom in space, we've chosen to describe it as, because for each level you get the coloured keys that correspond to the, the doors that they let you through, and then there's a reactor at the end of each level like this that you have to destroy and then escape, and that's level one, done already. There's 27 levels, uh, <laughs> and... The main aspect of this run, you can see I'm doing it already, it's uh, I'm not flying very straight right now. I'm not facing the way I'm flying very often, and this is because if you've ever heard of like strafe moving or, or anything like that as speed tech in other, in other speed games, uh, it's the same thing for this, except you're moving in all three dimensions. So actually, at any one time I'm holding at least three buttons down. Oh, I just, uh, <laughs> I should explain this. I kill myself on purpose there, uh, because when you die, you keep any keys that you've picked up. And I pick up the red key and respawn right at the start, because the red door is much closer to the start. However, because we're playing it on the easiest difficulty, uh, I don't have as many lives as I could get on higher difficulties, because you get lower score for doing things on the easiest difficulty. I can't believe that the soundtrack I've, I've actually made is lining up right now, because uh, we actually play this game without music. Uh, because it makes the levels load slightly faster. Um, and I've made this custom soundtrack of just like pasting the the levels uh, tracks together. That will hopefully line up to when I start the next level. And at the moment it's going fairly well. <laughs> uh, right. So this is level, I can't remember already, three, two, three. Um, which contains all three keys now, because the first couple of levels only had red key and, and maybe blue key. Oh. <laughs> Uh, that right there, I just squeezed past a, a kind of green enemy in the corridor, just about. Um, the collision in this game is kind of like when you collide with enemies. It kind of depends how many polygons you uh, you hit together, like your ship and theirs. But often, if you hit into an enemy, you just kind of grind straight to a halt. So if you have really fast speed and uh, get them at the right angle, like, you can actually get them to move out of the way. But so, uh, right there. I destroyed the reactor and also went to kill that guy behind the reactor because he's holding an extra life, which you don't see me pick up, but it says extra life at the top, so I did get it. Um, and we need the extra lives because, as I said before, this is uh, the easiest difficulty, so you don't get very many points for doing things, which would give you which would give you extra lives every what is it, fifty thousand points? I believe so, yeah. Um, but uh, so we need to pick up a couple of actual drops of extra lives instead in various places so that we can do these death warps where if we want to respawn closer to where we want to go we can kill ourselves and uh, get the fast death. Oh, this is uh, so, This oh, yeah, level is the first uh, instance of melee enemies, these lifters right here. Yeah. Um, unlike the other enemies, they cannot be like bullied and pushed out of the way. Since True. they're melee enemies, they just stop you dead in your tracks. Also, before he got the spread fire cannon, which he's using right now, was the first invisible enemy of the game. Oh, here's, here's one in this tunnel of the yellow door. See if you can spot you it. You can also get nope. <laughs> and cook advice yourself later. Yeah, so... Yeah, oh, now there's the invisible guy. He got in the way. There we go. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, these melee enemies you just want to avoid as much as possible. They're really hard to squeeze past, so I have to kill them as fast as possible with uh, this better weapon, the spread fire, which you pick up on this level. Here I've actually... Oh, we get to see them a bit. Uh, here I picked up some mines earlier. Uh, and lay some mines there because I need to run back through that room. Uh, these red spiky things, they didn't actually hit very much unfortunately, but 
the cores weren't too much in the way. Uh, was this level five? So, the kind of a bit of lore to this game: as you progress through the levels, you're moving out um, from first on the moon and then out to the outer planets as the in the later levels. Uh, and it's the background is uh, there's an alien virus that's taken over these mining robots, and uh, you're sent to destroy each of the mines where they're infested. <laughs> and uh, here is the first use of the Vulcan cannon, which I've just picked up here. Uh, wow, squeeze past that guy, that was weird. <laughs> um, so the Vulcan cannon is the only kind of... Well, it's, it's not quite, but it's basically a... a I forget the word, what's it called? Um, hit scan. Yeah, hit scan weapon. Um, so we use it for opening doors, because the doors happen at, at a time where they're, they're animating and opening, you can still bunk into them. And it's yeah, whereas uh, like your lasers or spread fire have like a um, travel time, the... Vulcan basically hits the door immediately so it opens them more quickly. Yeah. Exactly. But it's not that good for actually killing enemies, so when we want to kill guys that are still in the way, we use the other weapons. Oh, Pretty that's, that's all good. The only time you would use Vulcan over anything else in terms of damage output is just your level 1 lasers. Right. Which I might have to use uh, later in the run, but we'll see the route that I take. I'll kind of wing it because uh, I might die at a certain point. I might not, but I have a plan for both. <laughs> so that was the first, uh, not the first instance, one instance of robot makers, all that purple stuff. Um, oh, yeah. So they'll just spawn enemies infinitely. Oh, I missed that door. The spread fire spread in the wrong direction. <laughs> there's certain there's certain places in this game where uh, me and Lumo like to look at. Like, uh, if you get in a room and get out before the door closes again, you've made that door cycle. And it's kind of a speed check. Yeah. So there's a very tight one at the beginning of this level, which I don't think I made, but... I probably saw the door closing, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> also, this is the first level with the very dangerous, or less da dangerous on this uh, difficulty, but these guys that I just killed there, they're, uh, they have the Vulcan Cannon, which I was talking about earlier. Uh, and since it's basically a hitscan weapon, you can hardly ever dodge them, so they just kind of do uh, damage to you straight away as soon as they see you. Okay, so he just picked up a cloak. The way cloaking works in this game is your ship is invisible, but if you hit a wall, shoot a player or any like regular weapon, they know where it came from. So if you just like sit still shooting, they can still fire in your general direction and hit you, um, but they won't know if you like shoot and then you move they'll actually end up like shooting where you were yep that's yeah click isn't all that useful in the runs uh except if you're against guys with loads of homing missiles which you'll see later kind of in the mid levels um and actually the mid levels are the hardest levels of this game because once you get to the latest later levels you can kind of chain together a load of um Invulnerabilities and clips and stuff. That was another intentional death right there because that yellow key that I just went. Oh wait, I don't want to damage myself yet. The yellow key I, I went and got was very far away, and the yellow door is right near the start of the level. So, unfortunately, that means I have to leave all my weapons because when you die, you don't get your, you don't carry over your weapons, only the key. Um. So that means we're going to fight the boss, the first boss of the game is on this level, uh, with none of the weapons we just had. I'm just going to go out my way to pick up an extra life here again. That was what the extra life pickup looked like, that green thing. So we lost our spread fire, but we're going to get something else to replace it, which is... The best uh, weapon for killing boss robots. Yeah, better for single uh, enemy damage output. Uh, and I haven't talked about how we recently, well, slightly recently, found a manipulation for these bosses. So normally he's supposed to be teleporting around the room and turning invisible and things. But uh, right now he's just sitting in the same place, and that's because of the save file I loaded at the start. I didn't start the run off the, off the save file or anything. I just loaded the save file, quit out. That was really close. I just loaded the save file, quit out, and started a new game. Uh, there's something else that can happen in that boss fight, and that's that the game just uh, crashes and completely hard locks. Uh, <laughs> if I don't get to the exit afterwards fast enough or something, we're not, we're not really sure why. It seems really, really variable like when it happens, why it happens. Sometimes you get it if you 
bump into the boss's debris like after he's dead sometimes you, you always seem to get it like at the same time like 48 seconds left uh -huh. on escape so we're not really sure why uh -huh. but it's annoying so we just so, sometimes you save before going into the room or whatever obviously not on like a world record pace run but um well, I, and i have like, a backup save on this just in case but luckily it didn't yes. happen so yeah <laughs> Um, so now we're in the Mars levels, as you can see, because everything's red, obviously. That's what that's mean, means Mars. Duh. Um, and we start to see a load of secondary lifters and advanced lifters. So the lifters are, are these bots with claws. And again, they're another type of melee enemy, or at least the advanced ones are the ones with the full claws that just got in my way just there. And they're almost as annoying as the, as the first ones, but now I have slightly more powerful weapons to be able to deal with them quicker, so I suppose it's slightly better. Kind of random how the enemies are spaced in this room. I've got quite a few in the way, so a bit awkward. And you notice I'm using a lot of uh, homing missiles now. As before, I only had concussion missiles. Another enemy I don't think we've mentioned is the spiders. These big red guys, they can drop between zero and five mini spiderlings. So obviously, you always hope for zero just because more enemies is annoying, and sometimes you have to go back through them or whatever. So just a little instance of RNG. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we haven't done a death warp where I leave my weapons and pick them up again yet, have we? Uh, so, oh no, that's, that's not this level. So this level is a death warp again at the end of it coming up, but this time it's after I destroy the reactor, and oh, I just kind of got lost. There we go. Um, so if you die after you've destroyed a reactor of the mine, the whole mine explodes while your ship's still inside it, and uh, you just have to start the next level with, like from scratch. Uh, but occasionally that's useful because you don't have to go all the way to the exit and get out. You can just die and start the next level straight away. Unfortunately, you lose all your weapons again, so there's only a couple of places where I actually want to do that. Uh, that's so every time done. you finish a level, you always end up with a minimum of 100 shields, 100 energy. Um, energy is used to power your laser weapons, and then... Um, Yes. seven concussion missiles. If you have anything less than that, you will be refilled to that. But if you have more than that, you carry that with you. So, taking deaths there, you lose all your weapons, you lose any excess energy, any excess shield, or whatever, so it's only really useful okay. if you end up getting the best weapon in the game immediately after this. And here's the best weapon in the game. Level 10 gives you the secret fusion cannon, and we're going to be seeing the fusion cannon throughout the rest of the game, pretty much, because it basically one-shots everything. Um, <laughs> And it's a charge and shoot weapon, so in order to get maximum damage from it, like I did, just did there, that was actually... Oh no, I'm, I've still got homing this on me down. I want to take slightly less damage because the end of this level is very risky, but in order to get maximum damage from the uh, fusion cannon, you want to charge it up until it starts doing damage to you, and then wait a little bit longer. So <laughs> you, you, you do have to take some damage off it yourself. Uh, oh, I didn't get a shot through there. Could have got all three yeah, guys. It does penetrate nice through everything it is, as well. It is piercing. Where everything else yeah. just ends on the first enemy that it hits, Fusion Cannon will go through everything. Mm hmm. So my health is quite good right now. Uh, some spiderlings. RNG there. If I don't get hit by these homing missiles and don't hit myself in the face of the homing missiles, I fly into them, which I did a bit. So. Alright, 60 health is where I like to be to be able to survive this reactor, but I can anywhere over 40 is going to be fine, so I don't need to get an, a safety and vulnerability here. Uh, well, I shouldn't do, but I might die. doesn't matter. I'll have a plan. I picked up one extra life, so I only have one death to spare. <laughs> like, the, the amount of lives I have right now, I'm, I'm going to use them for various death walks throughout the rest of the run. But I have one spare one, so that's my safety net. <laughs> Yeah, so there's, there's an alternate route that it's debated on whether or not this is faster. You can die here to save this huge exit sequence, Ooh, yeah, and then okay. you obviously go into the next level cold with no weapons, but you, actually, you, die. you see the only use of the plasma cannon, otherwise it's just, you know, overshadowed by fusion and whatever else, so. Made it, so. Yeah. That was, the, that was like the second hardest reactor in the game in level 10 there. Made uh. it handedly. Well, I was on like 14 or something and homing missiles do like 20 damage to me, so <laughs> one more hit and I was dead. Uh, what's in this level? Mine layers are in this level, have you seen those yet? Bots that fly around oh, right. and I did yeah, not charge up for this guy. Oh, no. 
Also, lots and lots of lava. Uh, if you fly into the lava, it'll do damage to you slowly. If you shoot the lava, it'll splash up to you and do lots of damage to you, but also enemies. So it can be the double-edged sword. It hurts you, but it also hurts them. I haven't talked about flares that I'm now using to open doors and stuff, because firing the fusion kind of knocks you back a bit and is slow to open doors. So that you have a flare, uh, which you can fire while firing anything else, which I'm pressing it. There's, cool. there's a bit of reload time when you switch weapons, so it's not always useful to switch to Vulcan just oh, open nice. doors, but sometimes you still do. Sometimes it's worth it. Right. Oh, like I wandered all the way down there. That's weird. Um, there you see something, me firing smart missiles. Something smart missile. <laughs> Yeah. So the smart missiles have a load of homing blobs inside them. You didn't get to see them there because they all just piled into that one guy that I used it to kill. Um, but they're the things that the level 7 boss was firing at me before. Uh, this reactor room is really dangerous. Because of all the mine layers. Oh, can you die, please? Thank you. Lots of lava, lots of mine layers. But I also and want to charge up to maximum strength fusion cannon to be able to one shot the reactor, which also damage me, damages me as well. It's kind of a tight shot, shot, too. Yeah. Because if any. If, so fusion shoots two bolts. There's a button. And if it, like, nicks a single polygon of, like, a wall, the whole bolt is gone. Yeah. Oh, the start is low when it's gone straight forward. Uh, okay, so I think so. so. Yeah, there we go. This level. So. I clear out all the guys. Oh, I didn't get the triple shot, you know, Ron Clear will be sad. Um, <laughs> I got two of them. You clear out the enemies at the start of this level because we're doing this for the first time. I'm leaving all my weapons near the red door right here, and then I'm going off to the rest of the level to collect the keys and such, and then come back so that I still get to finish the level with my weapons. So it requires two deaths instead of one for these death orbs. Ooh, that's not going to kill that guy. Doesn't matter. In the meantime, though, we go back to spread fire, which is adequate enough for our purposes. Yeah. Spread fire moves fairly fast, so I can open the doors easy. Mega missiles we haven't mentioned yet. They are just essentially, you know, BFG, really big, um, Ooh, just mass damage, yeah. uh, and it actually has like a very, very large splash damage radius that will also affect you. So you have to be very careful in firing. Mm -hmm. But they're also very useful in trying to death warp because they do so yeah, much damage. My weapons are spread out really awkwardly here. I've got to spend, around, spend a while flying around picking them up. I was trying to collect them close to the door, but never mind. So here comes the highest level in the game, and it's all about dodging homing missiles. And hopefully... Well, I, I have two routes, as I said. If I die at the last reactor, it's okay. I didn't dodge the homing missile, it's bad. Um, but if I don't die at the last reactor, I get to fly all the way to the exit. Uh, which is really far away, but it's worth it to keep my weapons, I think. Almost. Like, they're, they're fairly equal, cool, but... It just makes the next couple of levels a little bit more awkward, not having fusion to just plow through enemies, so you have to kind okay. of work for it a little bit harder in the next levels, but yes. um, you do get a pretty large raw time save from from not doing the exit sequence here. I'm very happy with this. I'm at 60 health. That's a, that's a massive amount of health for this, for this level. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're swimming right now. Here comes a Mega Missile, I forgot to switch to it. So we fire it over there just to clear out this room really quickly. Um, so all the enemies that were in that room are dead instantly. The only other use of enemies we actually use on enemies... Uh, Mega Missiles we actually use on enemies... ...is uh, on the final boss, I think. On the, well, the last level. Uh, yeah, use like six or seven depending on your strat, so... Right, now I'm back to the Vulcan Cannon to open these doors, because I've already flown through here, but and so there's no enemies in the way, I just need to open the doors. Try and dodge this homing missile, which I've never done. <laughs> but I, I did it the worst amount of times. I've dodged that homing missile once, so I know it's possible, and I've never dodged it again. <laughs> Definitely the hardest dodge in the game. Alright. I'm on fairly low health by the time I got to the reactor, so I might have to die here, but it's fine. I want to one-shot this reactor, so charge up to the maximum. And maybe get out, this homing missile's on my tail. Nah, that's fine. We'll do the next level with no weapons, which is about the same speed if I get this uh, difficult strat at the end of this level. Oh, need to kill those guys because I'm going to be coming back through there. Alright, I'm, I'm still impressed with the soundtrack going on, it's really close. Like, you're, get, you're getting the right levels music for each level. <laughs> uh, so what am I doing here? I just have the, the spread fire again instead of fusion, unfortunately, but that's fine. It really doesn't slow down stuff much. Um, 
Um, so that guy right there that he just killed me at the invincibility from our guide bots there oh, essentially right our supervisor bot, I'm sorry. So everything yeah, here, like yeah. all these places are like mining colonies and that guy's function I guess is to like oversee everybody. Not really sure why they have uh, bots with yeah, you know, homing missiles in them other than I guess for like military defense, but the lifters are obviously lifters and then there's like platformers and stuff, drones and whatnot, so Everything is supposed to be, you know, innocuous or whatever and like serve its purpose in a mining colony. Um, and then, as we said, there's a alien virus as the lore goes that makes them go insane or not insane, but uh, get like taken over and start killing humans. So then you have to go and you know, eradicate them all. Okay, well, how am I on so much health? This is weird. Um, here I kill myself in the lava after getting the red key, so I go straight back to the start. And then this is now the hardest part in the run now that I've. Uh, Screwed up the, hard, the other hardest level. Transferred it onto this one. Yeah, so I'm you really are hoping to get very, close. very lowly geared. You have, you do not have any good weapons. You do not have a whole lot of extra stock and yeah. Please drop a device and all that stuff. And you're dealing with some of the hardest enemies. <laughs> That's gonna be really difficult. Let's see. No, I'm totally gonna die. Um, or maybe not. This is really close. Oh, <laughs> yes. Check that out. Okay. Six second delay, so I was on, almost. I was on 10, oh, wow. yeah, sorry. Very nice. I had to Very dodge nice. I had to dodge Without loads of enemy missiles. So no norm normally there's a cloak there's a cloaked guy there which drops you a cloaking device, but there's a chance that he doesn't drop it. And that's what happened there, so things were very hairy. Saved it though. And so again, it doesn't really matter so much that we don't have a whole lot of items coming out of that last one because there's a spread fire right here in the beginning. And then uh we get more gear later, so. Yeah, talking of getting our gear back, there is a fusion cannon in this level now that's not out of the way. I spent ages it's, trying to root the fusion cannon right there, so. Very, yeah. very minimal. Very near the end of this level, though, unfortunately. Yeah. It's unfortunate you can't do the beginning of this level with it, because that would be the most useful part to have it, where you're going through all these grey hulks. Yeah, these hulks. Um, yeah, I don't know why they're always called grey, like, everyone calls them grey hawks, but they look more tan to me, so, I don't know, whatever. Oh, but, no. They're medium hawks is what they're called in the level editor, but... Right, the, yeah, so there's the medium hawks, which are grey, and then, um, green hawks and red hawks. There's fusion cannon. Yeah. Yep. Fusion hawks, we have yet to see. They, obviously, um, everything that you have, also, enemies can have, so, um... Fusion Hawks, I'll give you one guess okay. what they have, and they are just as dangerous as you are. They do 60 damage per hit. Well, that's Fusion. uncharged Fusion. Luckily for us, they can't charge up yeah. Fusion yeah, Luckily for us, they can't <laughs> charge up to the full 240 damage. Yeah, so. whatever it is, yeah. Oh, there's a good one shot on a reactor there, so you just push the guys out of the way while not releasing the charge on the fusion cannon and keeping it full charge to get the, the shot on the reactor. The reactor's health uh, per level go up. I think I'm echoing slightly in your mic, Lima. Um, yeah, every level the reactor's health... Oh, this guy's really in the way, okay. <laughs> At the end of each level when you have a reactor, the health is greater per level, interestingly. Uh, but that means that there's certain levels where the fusion cannon doesn't end up one-shotting them anymore. After you go past a certain point, you have to fire two shots or three shots. And, and you can supplement with missiles, obviously. Yeah. So... Charging your, your fusion cannons on maximum charge for as you go into reactor rooms is, which you have to think about way before you go into the reactor rooms, is often very important. There's also an interesting uh, difference with the reactors as opposed to regular enemies, since the hitbox is so big, the uh, fusion cannon actually hits reactors twice, so it does double damage to them, which is very convenient for us. Oh yeah, true. In the original okay. game, it was based on frame rate, so it used to do like infinite damage one, like maximum damage for each frame it passed through them. But the source yeah, port so keeps it, it locked. It would at, just like, literally something. one shot any reactor. Yeah. As the story goes, and then there, there is the cloak that you always get that I've never seen to get. Yeah, here's the difficult reactor one shot. I kept to clear this guy out of the way while keeping the fusion cannon kind of charged, and then land the shot. Okay, good. That was good. It, the miss, the that's the first reactor that needs more than one fusion shot to kill because I needed to fire exactly one missile on top of that for it to die. Very nice. And we got mine layer level again. These are annoying gopher bots, as they're called, which are kind of chunky and just get in the way and lay mines. 
Here comes yeah, a really tight shot. Particularly fast, so you kind of like get stuck behind them, and they're also kind of healthy. Yes. So you have to charge your fusion a yep. little bit oh, to kill I... them in one shot. Uh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. That room. I thought I saw oh, him exploding, yeah. but it wasn't him or something. That was weird. Oh, there's um, there's a invisible lifter by right. him. Right, right, right. So because I did that room fairly fast, I get to keep my vulnerability slightly longer through this corridor, which is helpful because they lay mines in your face. And mines do loads of damage, even on the easiest difficulty. Mines seem to still seem to do like maximum damage. Here's a really tight door cycle. Can I get back out the door? Yes, I can. Spoilers for Lumen. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really cool door check. I that's. It's, it, it makes you work really hard on flying straight yeah. and pivoting immediately as soon as you touch the key. Yeah, that's it's... the most difficult thing about this run. The thing that increases your your speed on this run the most is this tricording, we call it, the moving three directions at the same time. So, sure, you can hold you can hold forwards to fly straight, but I think this is like, like 1.7 times as fast or something like that. I can't remember exactly. Yes. 1.6, 1 1.7, 1 I forget. Yeah. It's it's considerably faster to fly at like 45 degree angles, basically. Not that I'm doing it perfectly all the time by any means, because anytime you're flying into a wall slightly, it's not going to be the full speed in the direction you want. Uh, here's a difficult reactor room, you know. Just got to wait to charge up. You do have a little up. bit of like acceleration time before you're going at max speed. Hey. So if you can, you want to sort of like get a running start into doors and into enemies and stuff, because you can't go through enemies like debris or whatever for like um you know a partial second so you kind of like back off a little bit and get a running start so once they do finally explode you can go through them at max speed there's another case of leaving my weapon somewhere where i'm going to come and come back and get them because uh, the yellow key in this level is out of the way and you'll start again And this, I don't know if this is the first level, but it's one of the levels where you see platformers for the first, first time, these kind of beige guys spraying lasers around. Which are, uh, which are so pretty... Another thing about uh, how he died there, so he died in, like, going into that door. So it opened the oh, yeah. door and it moved these two secondary lifters out of their starting positions. And it also, um, he drops a whole bunch of items, which can, if they line up properly, open the door for him and uh, hold it open. So it wasn't too bad. It, they... The, the lifters did fly out of the room, and my arms weren't too spread out, so that was okay. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, flying they, into they the back of that missile. A little bit away, coming down the, the shaft, but it's fine. Right, right. Um, oh, damn, I was going to say something, but I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> I think this reactor is... Uh, two shots if I charge up the full amount. I have to just wait a second because I think I started charging slightly late. And yeah, while you're yeah. aiming this fusion cannon, uh, another thing that I haven't said is your ship shakes around randomly as you're charging the fusion cannon more and more. Um, so to get those fully charged shots off on things without the fusion cannon even touching one pixel of a wall is often quite difficult. Like that shot was uh, really straight. That was nice. <laughs> Yeah, especially at distance, which you do have to do sometimes. Get back out the door. Ah, get back out the door. No, not quite. <laughs> Got bonked by bullets of an enemy or missiles of an enemy. Oh, there's a butt missile. Explain butt missiles. I think missiles. this is the first level with missile platformers, right? The green ones. Oh they yeah. Fire loads of concussion missiles at you. Just Probably. Not, not really terrible. Just kind of. Right. They, they can be bad if you get hit by every concussion missile. Lumo, Lumo, explain butt missiles. Oh, yes, so the Red Hulks, have, the ones that fire the homing missiles at you, they really don't, like, what, what direction they're facing doesn't seem to matter. When they find out where you are, they will fire a missile at you, even if you're behind them. So we call them butt missiles, because obviously they well, get shot from the rear of the, of the fusion, uh, I'm sorry, of the Red Hulk. If they're, if they're kind of 90 degrees to you, they don't do it. Yeah. But yeah, for some reason. Let's see if I can make the door cycle... It's like they can only Ooh, go yes. out of either the front or the back, but like not sideways. They actually have to like turn to you if you're like at their like arm, for whatever reason. All right, what level is this? This is an important level. Um, this is the only level where the keys are contained within these robots. I'm doing a good, good job of letting that guy get away. So they fly randomly throughout the areas that they're in, but I do know where they spawn. So if you get to them fast enough, you can you can kind of keep it fairly consistent. Like that guy, yeah. I missed that completely, but luckily he's flying in the direction I want to go anyway. Yeah, this is another 
instance of RNG. This is probably the biggest instance of RNG in the game. Yeah. Aside from this the spiderlings, the amount of spiderlings. Oh, there um, he goes. Okay, got him. <laughs> <laughs> they have like set paths. They have a few different set paths that they can follow based upon where you, you know, come at them from when they get alerted to seeing you. This red one is the worst, absolutely, because he spawns like kind of far away, and he can be like alerted to your presence kind of early on, and then that room that he's in is like a three-story maze. So, um, this yeah. reactor right here is another reactor that is like debatable on whether or not a yeah. reactor death warp I, is. I didn't go for it just to save lives. Lower, so. Um, and I got the good charge shot. Like, not taking the reactor death warp just because I like having fusion for this level right here. It's easy but to. I, I find this level right here to. And whatnot. Yeah. I, I find this level really easy to do without any weapons, but since I have weapons, I can do stuff like switch to the Vulcan to open those doors and things. Little, tiny little edges. Because there's another fusion can just down in this lava maze right here that I would get back now. Oop, miss. <laughs> Nowhere near that shot through the yellow key. <laughs> that one's kind of tricky. It's a very tight angle, and you use one bolt to kill one drone, and another bolt to kill another drone. Oh, I probably didn't um, need to pick up the extra life, but now I have loads of extra life, so I, we're very yeah. safe. <laughs> oh. um, so another thing about lives, when you're sh uh, when it says like sh in the upper left-hand corner, when it says ship times four, that means he actually has five lives, because it goes all the way down to ship times zero, that means you have none left. True. Here's a little so puzzle. Quite well on lives right now. Oh, I should actually fly in the right door. There we go. Oh, that was awkward. Okay, should be fine. If you don't get it in the first cycle, it will waste loads of time. So. Puzzle here, you have to fly into the certain doors as they open yeah. uh, in order to open up the like case around the reactor. Another nice reactor kill. This is a pretty tough level. Oh, that was a great death. That's excellent. I'm not being sarcastic. Uh, that's that's like a good placement of my weapons in there, so they're all kind of grouped together. When I come back and get them later. So we, Ooh, we that used was good. The, you didn't even get the shield. Yeah, I didn't pick up the shield in there either. Uh, we use the um, dropping your weapons at where you want to go near the end, and then doing the rest of the level, and then coming back and getting them. So here's like an auxiliary fusion cannon I get mean in the meantime to do the rest of the level with. Fusion can very, very early on in terms of the rest of your level routing, and there's not really a whole lot of enemies to dispatch. So there's a mega missile that he chose to um, skip. Yeah, why, he, why use a mega missile when fusion can is a stronger in, in every way? Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's yeah, sort of just like go. a like a carryover from like old routing that we always just used to do. And now we're thinking about it. We're like, wait a minute, like we don't even need that, honestly. Yeah. So I pick up the red key and kill I almost killed myself before picking up the key. That was close. I had to hesitate on the missile. Uh, so now I've got all the keys, I come back and get my weapons, and this can be invulnerability, because the end of this level is absolute hell if you don't have invulnerability. Uh, there's a load of drillers. These are cloaked drillers there as well. Uh, first level with them in it, they take a little bit more than oh. a... F um, I didn't get the Like a little bit of charge. I didn't get a good, a good you damage. Get, you can't just one-shot them by clicking, you have to charge a little bit. Yeah. Um, so I didn't get good damage on that reactor. This reactor room is very difficult, in my opinion. What, this, this next level? Uh, the one that you just did with all the cloaked drillers. Oh, that one? Nah, that's fine. I mean, I did screw up the reactor, so maybe you're right. <laughs> so, I could have done more damage to the reactor with the first shot. I didn't charge it up enough. Okay. I think this is the first level that has fusion hawks in it. We were talking about them earlier. Um, uh, yeah, you yeah. decidedly don't go by it in this route. Well, of this then they're in the reactor room, so we get to see them in the reactor room. Oh, okay. The reactor room uh, in this level, I'm really scared of. I used to not be scared of it, and then it got worse and worse for some reason. It's, yeah. um, two levels ago then? I, th I think they're in... Yeah, they're, they are in this level, level, in this level in different places as well. But, you know, the fastest route that we go happens to avoid it, so that we... Because they have massive bodies and they just get in the way, if anything. Yeah. Here's a load of uh, robot makers in this area. You get to see them again, the purple stuff. Coming up. So... These robot makers are interesting. They spawn like three or four different types of enemies, um, and you ideally would like to get a cloak cloaking device, which yeah. can be dropped from these cloak lifters that you see. Yeah, but I had to but pick up the backup we, one. It, 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 oh you no, don't there was always one. Get one oh, so he took the right route there because it has a guaranteed one hidden behind a wall. Yeah, and, and then when I come back, I see that one dropped one anyway, so I didn't need to go out. <laughs> <and> <laughs> yeah, never lucky. 
Alright, so I'm on almost 100 health for the reactor room, so that's lucky. As long as I'm over 60, I don't get one shot by the uh, fusion helps. I'm starting to charge up to try and hit the reactor with most damage. I'm almost at 60 health. They were one shot maybe they hit me now. Okay, good. <laughs> because they, you saw those purple guys hanging out behind the reactor, maybe. Those are the fusion hooks, and I just want to get as far away from those as possible. So what level are we on? We're, not, we're now on like the fourth or fifth final level, as it were. Um, and, you know, the, the quality of enemies has massively risen in, in difficulty. So all of these plasma drillers here and a load of hulks everywhere and stuff. And these drillers. Yeah, we haven't really mentioned them before. Yeah. They're just like the regular drillers, but they shoot um, plasma cannon instead of Vulcan cannon. There goes so the So they're actually like less, you know, uh, dangerous, honestly, because you can dodge their shots much more easily, even though they're meatier, healthier. Um, they, they just aren't that much of a threat just because of the type of weapon they have. So I really hope I get a collecting device here, and I did, okay. Because I, I do not know how to do the end of this level without a collecting device, so I would just die. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very likely that he drops it, but there is a small chance that he doesn't. Yeah, and then there's also one off to the right, so you get two chances. But it's uh, it's really dicey doing this reactor room without them, because there's all these uh, Red Hulks in here with you know the lock-on uh, homing missiles. So without the cloaking device, they just shoot straight at you, and you don't have much of a chance to dodge them. You can kind of just like fly around in circles a little bit, um, and you mostly get away with it, but not indefinitely. Uh, okay, I, I was going to shoot the guy in front of the in front of the invulnerability on this level, Lumo, but you know what I'm not I'm, you know what I'm not going to collect for this level. <laughs> he thinks I'm so crazy. There's, uh, off to the right, inside that previous room, uh, there is a invulnerability behind a plasma lifter. I'm sorry, plasma driller. And uh, I choose to go for it just because it makes the end of the level a breeze, but obviously it wastes time to go out of your way and pick up something, so Pozon is a madman and he goes without it. Uh, that was a really tight shot through that hallway and I got it, that was nice. So the, because the walls are so close together, if the fusion kind of touches them again, it just disappears and doesn't do anything. But I managed to thread it through there. Yeah, it really is quite narrow, both like tall and wide, uh, wide-wise. So we're on, well, we're on 50 health. Yeah, would you would you go for this with 50 health in there? That's that's fine. Yeah, right? uh, no, absolutely as, not. No, as, as long no as way. you're above 20, right? <laughs> so, it, like, watching okay. you play it, it doesn't look so bad. But then, like, whenever I do it, I just I, I freak out. I don't know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yep. No, we're fine. We're fine. Just got hit by one concussion missile as we're saying that. But. Oh, another thing we neglected to mention earlier, uh, so after he killed the reactor there, so there were some doors that opened up that had enemies in them yeah, uh, that released new enemies uh, during his exit. That's sort of a coming and going thing throughout the levels. Uh, it's obviously much more prevalent in some than others, um, but really they're not such a huge deal. It's just, you know, another obstacle. Kind of neat, and obviously something you avoid if you do uh, reactor death warp, which is kind of nice. Yeah. This is the second last level, and it's my favorite level to like look at in the level, so it's really well designed. But uh, the blue key is really far away, so I killed myself at the start to leave my weapons, and then went and got the blue key and killed myself after getting that, so now here we are with my weapons again. Um, and that guy's gone to a weird place. And here is another level where, do you think I'm going to get the uh, invulnerability? Uh, which makes me shudder. Like, this one's much harder, but what, what do you donate if I don't get the invulnerability? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, my sanity. You're gonna take it anyway. Um, so in that room where the yellow key was, there is a hole in the floor, uh, secret oh. area in the floor, that... Uh, oh, you actually sprayed it with Vulcan. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just so in case. Yeah. And, and this secret is a little bit different from the others, whereas most of the doors will close after a certain amount of time. This one stays open indefinitely. Um, True. So. We're stocking up on Mega Missiles here. Because this is the second last level, and the last level has the final boss. Whoops, uh, there it is. You can only carry five Mega Missiles, so now I have all five of them. The maximum right. five now. So, so there are Mega Missiles and Smart Missiles. Those are your big missiles. You can only carry five of each of those. Uh, and you only <coughs> drop three on a death. You can't drop all five of them and pick them up later. Oh, true. Uh, concussion, so I'm not you can carry 20, much. and Homies, you can carry 10. Bombs, I think, are also 10. Oh, look, I'm on 127 health. It's going to be easy. Yeah. I'm going I'm to leave this one with, like, three. <laughs> <laughs> it's a factor of well. First, you got lucky with a. Uh, oh. You got a. You got a bunch of health drops. Okay, I'm gonna. But, <laughs> yeah, it, 
like, Excuse me? Even after you kill the hang reactor, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. you run the risk of all those fusion hulks out there. It's just, it's too... That, that was awesome. No! <laughs> uh, this is really awkward. I've never done that before. So, that, uh, that has One never happened before. HP. Yeah. The, you the... see, for some reason, there was a driller in that room outside. Oh. You know, this is really bad right now. Yes, so... Alright, ad-libbing the whole thing. Yeah, so yeah, totally. Actually, I'm not, gonna I'm not gonna pick that up yet. I'm not gonna pick that up A whole bunch of Mega Missiles, so... Yeah. Um, I lost all those Mega Missiles talking about to fight the final boss. Yeah, I don't have them anymore. So, yeah, since he died after the reactor died, he lost everything. Came oh, I should have rooted in some Death Warps for this level. <laughs> now that I don't um, have any weapons. <laughs> this is... going to be interesting. Oh, we'll be fine. I just do it with the... Uh, Red fire. We still get. Oh no! Do I have? Quad, do I even have quad lasers? Oh man! But you can get them in the. You can get them in the safe room. By red, are they, are they by just? The in, are they just in there? I don't have to go to like the secret area, do I? The secret area in the next room. They, I mean, there's also. Um, there's pretty much everything okay. you need in there, honestly. There we go. I got through the fusion hulks without dying because I had the invulnerability last long enough. Yeah, the fusion hulks are probably. Oh, although this one can kill me. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> That's close as well. So here comes the final boss. Back from Fusion Hulk, any enemy that has any weapon can drop that weapon. So I'm going to the safe room because of the quad lasers, and we need the quad lasers because they do the highest DPS to bosses. Where are they? Uh, in the there's a hidden door, I believe. Oh, uh, what hidden? Uh, okay, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> We're just going to charge uh, up, charge up the fusion cannon. Right massively. from where you came in. Fusion cannon doesn't actually do very much damage compared to the quad lasers, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. There's a couple of other Mega Mass cells in this room which I can pick up too. So I'm gonna do that. And then this boss again, we've done this manipulation to him, so he's just sit Oh, I don't wanna run out of vulnerability, thanks. We've done this manipulation to him so that he just sits in the same place here. Making the boss fight normally take a lot faster, but this is gonna take a while because I don't have the uh, quad lasers, unfortunately. Damn, that was going so well. Just that. Oh, I hear the credits music starting to play. I'm out of sync now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see uh, what kind of pace you were on before that. Yeah, it was going to be really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go, okay. There we go. Time is going to come up as I cross this exit, so hang on. Time. Oh, oh man. And yeah, so the in-game in -game time is probably about 40 seconds slower than the real time. And this was a 40-40 in-game time. Yeah, your time on Arcana is 41.19. Yes, okay. <laughs> so, uh, I was really hoping to get under 40, but that, that death on the second last level was uh, just just bad enough. But, you, were, yeah. you were under 40 all the way up until after... Oh, I was, I was way after. under 40 before that. I lost, like, yeah. way over a minute on the, on the last oh, level. Yeah. <laughs> you can see the world record that there, 37.59. That's the world record. Um, but yeah, that was the scent. It's pretty... Uh, it's just 40 minutes of solidly holding down buttons and not being able to take my fingers off the keyboard, so... <laughs> it's good to be done with yeah, it. There is, there is no time to read chat, there is no time to do anything other than play the game. There's hardly even time to blink. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I should be playing the credits right now. Just because it, it feels right. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I should say, if you want to look for this game, um, or run this game, or see other people playing it, uh, speedrun.com speed slash descent1, I think, is the page in speedrun.com. Uh, and that's got, you know, all, all of our details on it. You can see us on the leaderboard. And a guide or two, maybe. And then also, if you want this game, but with updated graphics, and uh, made this year, or last year. Uh, by the same people? Yeah, by the same people, 25 years later, uh, Overload just came out recently, which is basically Descent 4. And it's it's amazing. It's like just as good, except it looks amazing as well. But yeah, there's a lot of the same elements. It's just prettier. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, Ozan with Descent One. Um, he's gonna be coming back at um, five twenty-five today. Seven. Seven. Oh, sorry, my <laughs> bad. <laughs> um, with Demon Tower. Um, coming up next, we got. Keen with uh, V6 or VV, VV, VV. Um, we're going to be setting that up right now.